Hey guys, Squirrel here, and we're back with Bridge Project. Now, if you remember, at the end of the last one, we did cities, and I got stuck on this one here. About four or five people, I think, sent in solutions for this. Uh, with screenshots, all nice diagrams, I tried every one, and I couldn't get any to work. Every single time I tried it, this was the latest one I tried. Come on, game. Thank you. This is the latest one I tried, uh, which had more. I actually had more cables here. I was just messing about. Either way, I, I've tried everything from not using cross beams on the roads to using cross beams on the roads, to the most simplistic one available, which was something like uh, this. Uh, it was that with some cables, and then it was a cable here, cable here, and then it was just a series of cables like that. Like the simplest thing ever. And you know, stands up, no problem at all. Cars come along. I think even buses come along. As soon as it gets to the wind test, boom. I honestly can't work this game out. I think it is... I think the physics engine is just not... It's not accurate enough. Particularly when you go messing around with cables. It's like the tensile strength is a wrong. And it seems to matter which order you put the cables in. I've worked out that you need to put the outer cables in before you put the inner cables in. If you put the inner cables in first and the outer ones last, when you start, the outer ones just snap. There you go. So, I still don't have a solution for that. I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen people do it. I can't work it out. I've done their exact design. And it doesn't work. So, for now, anyway, I'm giving up on cities. I can't finish it. So we're going to play canyons. We've got four to play. That's the today's video is canyons. So let's have a bash. Okay. Canyons number nine. Steel, cables, iron. Three tanks coming in. Three nasty old tanks. What weight are they, actually? Uh, it does say some wood, doesn't it? Oh, I've forgotten what it says, the weight of the tank. Never mind. Right, what have we got? Uh, whoops. Road, steel, iron, cables. Uh, cables, 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 those dreaded cables. It's a span. We can use the weight down here. Probably get away with some, some of the weight being transmitted down here. I'm guessing we're meant to build up. Maybe even come up this way and then cable the rest in there. Let's start by slapping some road in. Uh, crossbars. Actually, have we got a wind test? No, we've got a tank. Do we need crossbars if we've got a tank? Hmm. Or do you just need crossbars when you've got a wind? I'm going to go without crossbars. Let's try and keep the cost down. Let's see what happens. Of course, the downside is that if you want to change your mind... That doesn't fit very nicely, does it? If you want to change your mind about the road later, you've got to rip the whole bridge up. It would be nice if you could just kind of uh, click on a section of road and say add crossbars or take them away. Um, because when you take the roads away, everything connected to it just disappears, which means you start again. Now this is asymmetric, I've just noticed. We've got a connection point down there, a load bearing point down there, and nothing down this side. Which means we can take more weight on this side than we can on that side. Hmm. That could affect the design. Tell you what, let's let's get a bit of steel going on. Let's, how far can that steel go? There. That's the maximum point it can go to. So that means it makes sense to put a road like that. Which is good. Now we're going to have to take as much weight as possible on this side. So the reach of this is going to have to come up more over from this side than it is from that side. Because it can take more weight, he says in a very logical way. Uh, let's go for iron down here. Whoops, I think we just put a dot down there. Let's go for cheap iron. The weight doesn't matter of the iron down here. And if we go to like here somewhere, uh, maybe we can get up to... I'm thinking like there, possibly. So can that, if we take steel, because steel's stronger, like that. So that's 
fairly strong. We've got some um, pull tensile strength there on the steel and then some compression tensile strength. Oh, I sound like an engineer. Good grief. What's this game done to me? Uh, now, the question is, what do you put across here? And that bit, I don't know. Let's go with steel. I mean, does that really make it any stronger? I'm not sure it does. Hmm. If we did that, it stands up. That's fine. So maybe if we go steel, we can go further across, because that's what we need to do. Something like that. And the weight of that pushed down is going to struggle. A lot of the weight's going to go that way, but... Let's see where this road can get to. Here. So that's going to have to be held up by cables or something. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Just It just doesn't look right. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking like that, and then a piece of road across there. And then we just finish the road off on this side. Where can we go to? Halfway point. Roughly there, like that. Um, probably iron for that bit. It's a horrible design. I'm not keen on it, I'll be honest with you. I'm not keen on it. But it looks stable-ish. <laughs> Ish. It's probably stable-ish is not what you want to hear from a bridge engineer. Well, I've designed this bridge, and... Yeah, it's stable-ish. I think it'll work when your tank rolls across. Not what you want to hear. Right, let's do iron. Let's go vertical here. Uh, maximum point is about there. And support at the back here. I could actually probably remove that and just support it with cable. Thinking about it. This is obviously the thing I need to... This has got no support right now. That's the worrying one. And the question is, can a couple of cables hold a tank coming over it? And I'm not convinced they can. I'm not convinced they can. Still, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to go up here like that. That's the kind of design we want, I think. Now, it's not a suspension thing, so... Can I... Will that reach? Yes, it will. Will that reach? No, not a chance. Not a chance. I'm thinking this should be over here. I'm thinking... I'm just not keen on that at all. Why does he keep... doing that? Right, so I'm thinking like that, maybe? I'm thinking that looks a bit tidier if I do that. That's quite strong with some iron like this. I'm happy with that. And because we've got this extra load-bearing thing down here, we're not using that one, interestingly enough. I could use it. I could use it probably with iron, actually. I could do that, which is quite stable. Because that joint there can press, in, can compress that way and compress that way. Uh, it's only got that pulling it back. We may need to support this here to stop it from, you know, pushing off in that direction. We need to pull it back on that joint, but we'll test it. We'll try and not do that. I'm just not happy with what's going on here. Not happy at all. I'm going to start off by making a long piece of rope there like that. And then... Maybe just divide it like this. Just a simple division. Now, the question is, would cable... Is that going to hold that, and is that going to hold that? I'm not sure. Let's go to quick test. No. The answer to that one is no. However, we could build up here. Probably steel would be better. Could need to be a bit more lightweight here. We could build up like that, and across... And then hold it up. Cable. Oh shit, we run out of cable. Uh, okay, not a problem. Let's delete some of that cable. I haven't got much cable, I've just noticed. And then maybe use the cable like that. 
Is that going to hold it? Not really. Not really. So now I'm thinking, let's just go the whole nine yards. <laughs> In typical squirrel fashion, we don't use cable. We just get on with a bit of steel, because we like steel. I'm not putting the cross pieces in the top because we don't have a wind test. So I'm just thinking we'll try this. Oh no, oh no. I think we have to go that way as well. That should support the weight of tanks. Bearing in mind, though, I didn't put cross pieces along the roof, and I didn't put cross pieces underneath. So, this may not work. It's a nice view, isn't it? This weird icon at the top right, see it? And you've got left margin, right margin, top view, centre view. Such a weird little icon. Right, this is... Oh no, let's cut the cars now. The cars will be fine. When the tank hits about here, it's going to put a lot of strain through this. And that's the telling moment. I think that is the weakest joint. I think that's quite strong, bizarrely enough. There we go. I think two tanks are going to cross over at that point there, which is not going to get pretty. No, it's fine. Cables are for the weak. Did you hear that? He just did the huh, huh, the squirrel noise, the squirrel horn. Just had a new subscriber. <laughs> That's a joke for you guys that watch the stream, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you're laughing and everybody else is going, what? Okay, new record. Bridge cost 3.7 squillion. Total cost 3.7 squillion. And budget of 7.8 squillion. So you squillion, nobody can argue with how many commas and dots it's got. Squillion's just a random made-up number. On to the next map. That was Canyon 9. Canyon 10. <coughs> Steel cables and iron. Cables, the dreaded cables. Cars. Ooh, that went too quickly. <clears throat> what have we got? Oh, God. We've got a wind test. Wind test, cars, buses, cars. Uh, this is fine apart from the wind test. Right, so I think we're going to have crossbars turned on, because obviously the wind blows this way, crossways. I was right about the last one, actually, thinking about it. I didn't need crossbars if there's no wind test. I think, in, obviously, in a real-world scenario, that wouldn't be the case, but we have got an asymmetric, asymmetric bridge, but this one is obviously going to have to compress down this way, and ten, is it called it tensile? Tensile that way? What's the key? What's the word the engineers use? That's compression. And that's not pull. I think that's tension. So yeah, we need... Basically, the, the load will be taken by a little bit of compression down there and a lot of tension here, if that's the right word. Anyway, we're talking nonce. Let's get on with it. Let's go... How many do we need? One, two, three... It's an asymmetric gap again. Which doesn't appeal to my sense of symmetry. Never mind. Um, so where do we want to make the cutoff point? That's the question. Cables, now interestingly enough, I'm going to have a go at these cables again. We haven't really got any heavy stuff coming in. The bus is the heaviest. The wind test is going to be the problem. How, where do we want the cables to start and end? I mean, we could kind of, you know, steal. We could come up like that at this point. Whoa. Whoa, no, that won't work. Undo. We're not going to get a bus through there. That's what I went. So, you know, I'm thinking like that, and then... You could actually you could support that with cables, and then cables that way. That'd be funky. If that worked, that would be funky. I think we want... We do want cross pieces here. To give it that rigidity against the, the crosswind that is going to come. And this is out on a limb, so that could then lead to a nice bit of road here, like that. Now, can that steel make it here? Yes, it can. 
that's interesting because that now leaves the door open to do the same thing on this side and so the main question I have now is should I go cable and be all funky about this or do I go steel and cost more money this is the main joint here so if we I think what we want to do is go for more joints so that we can use is that right do we want to do that or just go right to that and then to here something like that that looks neat this isn't going to work because this looks too good this is going to this is going to end up at the bottom of this valley I guarantee you and I'm thinking that but knowing this game those cables will snap uh, and we'll do one there let's see what happens yeah just as I suspected um, so that's a bad idea let's get rid of that let's go steel that should support should support that but this isn't strong enough so using cables there is clearly a bad idea is that enough? That just snapped, didn't it? Look at that. Boom. And it snapped because the whole thing here hinged about that point there. Which means you do have to... Let's go to iron and make it cheaper here. You do have to... Support this thing. Actually, you know what you could do? Thinking about this? Is go like that. And then put a cross piece across there. And then. And then do that. And finally. Hold it with a bit of cable at the back. It's mad. It's ugly. And the cables are snapping already. Because cables and I don't. We have this kind of hate hate relationship with each other. I hate them, they hate me, they never work, and I don't like to use them. So already I'm, th I'm thinking, get rid of the cables! But why does that collapse? Why does that... That moves, doesn't it? Okay, so these... <laughs> All I end up doing is progressively getting rid of cables. No, we don't cross pieces in there, thank you. So even when that is relatively rigid, there's enough movement in that to snap the cable. It's bizarre. It's totally bizarre. And I can't see how you can how you can avoid that, if I'm honest. Unless you just get rid of all of that section and just, you know. It seems like utter madness to me. That was interesting. One, two. The cables are just rubbish. The cables are rubbish. That's my conclusion. Either the simulation's wrong, my use of it is wrong, or cables are just pants. I know cables work in real life, but they don't work in this game. Not properly. So, instead, I'm just going to go for a little... Let's go artistic on this one, because that's always good. Let's do, let's do something... Out of the box. Let's think out of the box. He says drawing boxes. Like that. And then, we have got a crosswind, so I have to be careful. Actually, thinking about this. Because we've got a crosswind, we should probably just go up like that. And then put the cross pieces on. Because once that... Actually, is that going to be high enough for a bus? I don't think it is. I've done that too small. Surely a bus is bigger than that. How can I test it? I can test it down here, can't I? Uh, there's a manual test option. Where is it? Where's the manual test? 
select undo building options no I know you can do this I'm gonna kick myself in a minute because I've forgotten how to do it so clearly that's not it run official tests manual tests there we go right let's bring the honestly the size wait a sec Where's the buses? There's no bus on this list. Go. Oh. Okay, what happens if we do this then? What happens if we do that? It sinks. Which is fair enough, to be honest, because we don't have any... A-frame thing going on. Oh, it's still really... Really unstable. What a horrible bridge. Absolutely horrible looking bridge. Run official tests. You wait till the wind blows. That's dis... I'm horrified by my own bridge. That's disgusting. There's a lot of, lot of red going on down here. Bizarrely, on one crossbar, but not on the other. There's the bus. Oh, the bus did fit. I had loads of room. I was getting worried. There we go. This is the big one. Oh, shh. Oh, look at it move. It's actually moving sideways. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, good grief. That failed horribly. And the thing is, it failed. I have got cross... Wait a second. Oh no! This middle section, I must have turned cross pieces off. No! So now I've got to. Because I have no way of fixing that, I have to do this. I have to put the road back with the cross things on it. That was the problem. Actually, while we're here, let's just go to about there instead. And try and make it a little bit more spaced out. As if this bridge needs to be spaced out anymore. It's already crazy. Right, if we just, just double check we've got everything. Because <laughs> what happened was that piece of road collapsed because it didn't have the cross pieces to stop it from moving in the wind. That's what happened. We can actually go lower on this. Because I saw the height of those buses was only like here. We could probably... Go like this. Just to be uber mad about this the ugliest bridge in the world this really is awful it doesn't make you physically sick to look at this bridge and then obviously because you can't have enough steel actually that might work better because that transmits the weight through there that might work better it's ugly, but I reckon it's fairly strong. I reckon that's quite a strong bridge. It's just... Aesthetics? Nah. This would win no awards. So, the buses, I reckon I've got plenty of room to get through there. Yeah, look at that. Loads of headroom. The kids could stand up in the sunroof and wave and they'd be fine. But this is the problem. Watch that piece of road again. Now that moves. Can you see that moving? That's because there's no cross piece support on that top. Oh my god, it's only just... Oh no, it's going, it's going! No! No, 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 no! St stay there, stay there, stay there. No, it's gone, it's gone. It nearly survived. Wow, anti-gravity... Anti-gravity steel bars, look at this. This is going up. How does that work? The problem is, is that all of this stuff moves, and... How do we stop that? We're going to have to do something a little bit mad down here, I think. We're going to need this kind of setup to stop it moving around. I think. Because we can't put a cross through there, obviously. I don't even think that needs to be that high. 
thinking about this. I don't think it'd be quite low. Why have I done it that high? I'm not using cables anyway. Sod it. Let's just keep it low profile. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Just kind of do this. Small and compact. And box-like. Why the hell not? So I figure, nice and low profile like that. Look at that, it looks like a train bridge now. And if it works for trains... That's quite... that looks quite stable. That really does. That looks fiercely rigid. And, more importantly, not astoundingly ugly. Turn the cross things off. Go down there. Come on. Look at that. Rah! I'm proud of this. That's... that's... I actually like that. That looks like a bridge I'd probably drive over. I'm sure we'll be proven in a second why that would be a really bad idea. But aesthetically, I think it now wins points. Whether it's going to stay up. See, the compression is here, whereas on this side, it's more of a tensile going on that bit there. The buses have made it. And in comes the dreaded wind test. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Come on, son. Oh, there's more movement in there. I don't think this is going to work, guys. I don't think it's going to stay up. No, that is moving like crazy. 113 kilometers, 116, 20. Holy cow, it survived. It did it. It got to 119. It was moving around like crazy, but it did it. Yay! I don't know why they put cars in at the end. This is just a bizarre test. Why would you put buses, 120 kilometer wind, and then some cars over? Yay! I'm proud of that bridge. I like that. How does it fare on the cost? 4.3 squillion. Versus a budget of 7 squillion. What do you think? I like that one. You should click like just for that bridge. <laughs> On to the next one, Canyon 11.